Hi. So let's look at the question. What's given in the question? A person can complete a job in 120 days. Fine. He works on alone on day one. On day two, is joined by another person who also can complete the job in exactly 120 days. That means the efficiency of both the persons is same. On day three, they are joined by another person of equal efficiency. That means the efficiency of each and every person is same. Fine. So let's talk about the total work here. Since he can finish the whole work in 120 days, let's assume that the total work here is 120 units. So they need to finish 120 units. Fine. Now the person starts the job, he can finish it in 120 days. That means one day's work of each and every person will be how much? 120 by 120. That is one unit per day. Now how they are going to finish the job? On day one, first person will alone do one unit. Day 2 will be joined by another person of the equal efficiency. That means the work done by them will become 2 units. Third day, one more person of the same efficiency joins them. That means the collective work for the third day will become 3. So, I can see the pattern here. That means the fourth day work should be 4, fifth day work should be 5. So, let's say the whole work was finished in n days. So, according to that, what I can say, nth day work will be n. So, this is the total work done by them in days and this has to be what? 120. So this is nothing but sum of first n natural numbers which is equal to n into n plus 1 by 2. And this has to be equal to 120. Am I right or not? Now, what should be the value of n? By hitting trial, I can say that n should be equal to 15. Let's cross check it. If you put n equal to 15, this becomes 15 into 16 by 2. Cancel it out 8 times, this comes out to be 120. That means if they work in the similar fashion, they can finish the whole work in how many days? 15 days. So the correct answer has to be 15 days. Right?